Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to start to talk about the topic called oxidation numbers. Oxidation numbers, very important topic. It's going to help us learn how to track what's going on in a chemical reaction which will lead us into being able to balance chemical reactions here in just a few sections. So up until now we've talked about oxidation, we've talked about reduction, and we've talked about the definitions and what those things mean in terms of losing electrons and gaining electrons. And we've done a lot of work with that. And we've also talked about these things called half reactions, where you can take a big reaction and split it up into two smaller reactions that explicitly shows which electrons are being gained and which electrons are being lost. And that is a good way to help us figure out what is being oxidized and what is being reduced because we can see those electrons being gained and lost in the half reactions. So we're kind of building our understanding up a little bit each time. Now we're going to talk about the concept of oxidation numbers. Now the big picture for what an oxidation number is useful for, big picture, is it basically lets us track electron transfer in a chemical reaction. And because it lets us track electron transfer, it basically is a way for us to tell what's being oxidized and what's being reduced in a reaction. So again, we've done a lot of this stuff before with the half reactions. We busted the reaction up into two, two uh, pieces, looking at the electrons being gained and lost, and that tells us what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. The oxidation numbers is a way to get the same information. It lets us track the uh, electron transfer, and it lets us figure out what's being oxidized and what's being reduced, but we don't have to write any half reactions uh, on our paper. So we can have one big reaction written on a piece of paper, we can assign oxidation numbers to everything in that reaction, and just by looking at the numbers we can figure out uh, basically what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. So the big picture roadmap for this section is, I'm going to explain what an oxidation number is to you briefly, and then what we're going to do is write uh, there's a little bit of a process to, to find the oxidation number. It's not hard, but I need to write some rules down on the board. All right, and then once I get them on the board, then what we will do is turn our attention to just doing a lot of problems. We're assigning oxidation numbers uh, to lots and lots of different uh, elements and compounds. So an oxidation number is a number that you assign to the elements in a compound or to the elements in a polyatomic ion or or some assemblage of, of atoms and, uh, and elements like that. It's a number that you assign to those, those pieces there that basically represents the charge that's held by that, by that piece. So if you have sodium chloride, there's two things in there. There's sodium and there's chlorine. So we can assign an oxidation number to sodium and we can assign an oxidation number to chlorine. And it's basically representing uh, 